developed a different relationship with pianos in general. For example, I won't put certain things on them. You know, I don't put drinks on the piano anymore at all. It just seems impolite. It'd be like if, if you're, if someone was taking a nap and you put a towel on their head or something, you wouldn't do it, you know, because in other words, the piano has now taken on a kind of iconic, uh, independent, uh, virtual reality. I can sit down and play lots of different music now. <laughs> I can play music that's written 30 years apart. And, and so in a way, um, it's like a, a time machine for me. I can go back in time. That's a very, that's a very personal way of playing the piano. Because I'm going back and I can play pieces from the 1980s, then I'll play a piece from uh, the year 2005. And I, it's very interesting. I'm sitting, uh, I'm becoming more aware of the, uh, of my body as an energy system. And when I sit in a certain way, I find when I sit back a little bit, I play better. I used to lean over and, and now when I get back a little bit, I have better control of the dynamics. So uh, I've been, I think in the last four or five years, I've been consciously changing the way I sit. So these are very personal things. And again, it's like, you could say that to about someone who runs, or someone who plays golf, or someone who cooks for that matter. We, are, we, um, we bring our body in a, in a, into an alignment uh, from a technical point of view, technical meaning how we grab things, how we do things with our body. We, we realign it for uh, the occupation that we're involved with.